So Sonnet 55 is um, one of Shakespeare's earlier sonnets. It's in uh, a chunk of the poems that focus on the fair youth, which is um, uh, we believe to be a young man that uh, the writer is infatuated with, uh, romantically engaged with, um, and generally admires. And so um, you can tell from the from the poem how much this person means to him. But it really uh, delves into the idea of, of giving someone immortality in memory and in praise, and in this case, in verse. Um, and when I think about this piece, I think about, you know, the people in my life that I have lost um, and, um, you know, I have these old pictures of family members, and they're they're old and they're faded, and they're, uh, you know, I try to take care of them, but eventually they're going to fall apart. If they get left out in the sun, they'll fade. If if uh, you know they get wet, they'll be damaged. You know, I I, I can't uh, guarantee that these will always be here, but. When I think of those family members that are in those photographs, you know, that's something that I, I can control. I can remember them and I can tell their stories and, you know, I, I can share these stories with the younger members of my family who are named after some of them and know that those stories will live on well after any of the photographs of them are gone or any of the possessions that they had have, have ceased to be, the homes that they lived in. Um, you know, have been sold or torn down and places that they went to have fundamentally changed. Um, but nothing can change the fact that they were there. And, uh, and when we remember them and we tell those stories and we keep them in our, in our hearts, it doesn't matter how the physical uh, evidence that they were here may fade away may weather with time, they'll always be there so long as we remember them. Not marble, nor the gilded monuments of princes shall outlive this powerful rhyme. But you shall shine more bright in these contents than unswept stone besmeared with sluttish time. When wasteful war shall statues overturn, and broils root out the work of masonry. Nor Mars his sword, nor war's quick fire shall burn the living record of your memory. Against death and all oblivious enmity shall you pace forth, your praise shall still find room, even in the eyes of all posterity, that wear this world out to the ending doom. So, till the judgment that yourself arise, you live in this and dwell in lovers' eyes. <laughs>